41 Action News has confirmed the name of the man police believe is responsible for these attacks. Investigator Melissa Yeager has been looking into his background and joins us now with what she's uncovered. Well, the Johnson County Sheriff's Office website shows Frazier Glenn Cross Jr., who also goes by the alias of Frazier Glenn Miller, was booked into jail at 848 on premeditated first-degree murder charges. We understand he'll make his first appearance in court tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Frazier Glenn Miller from Aurora, Missouri, has a lengthy history of white supremacist behavior. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, which keeps tabs on hate groups in America, he was once the grandmaster of the Carolina KKK, and the White Patriot Party, both which operated as paramilitary organizations in the 1980s. In 1985, the Southern Poverty Law Center sued him for harassing African Americans. They came to an agreement for Miller to stop. The behavior and he went underground. Federal court records show in 1987 he started mailing white supremacist information to homes. The FBI reportedly tear gassed him out of a mobile home. They had found hand grenades, automatic weapons, ammunition. He and several other in, others were indicted for trying to acquire stolen military weapons. Federal court documents show he pled guilty to sending harassing mail and testified against other white supremacists who were arrested in the same raid. I can guarantee you that right now they're getting a search warrant for his house, they're getting a search warrant for his computer and all his, uh, any social media he may have, uh, his phone records, to see if he's been saying anything or writing anything that would give an indication of when did this start, when did his life start to unravel, that he felt the need to kill innocent people. Miller served three years in federal prison. He also dabbled in politics, trying to run for governor and Senate. He even sued Robin Carnahan in 2006 to be placed on the ballot. I'm investigator Melissa Yeager, 41 Action News.